Welcome back to Software Inc, everybody. I hope you're having a good one because today... Well, today could be a big day for Nerdrisoft. So you might remember in the last episode I mentioned we were going to get into hardware production today. Well, I've ever so slightly changed my mind. And I, I know, I know, I know I said we were going to do it, but I have a really good reason for changing my mind. And to be completely honest with you, that reason is that I want to create a computer operating system first. Now, if we do this, we don't get to design hardware to go along with it. If we were to make a console operating system, we can go into manufacturing, we can set up the assembly lines, we can set everything in the system. And what's really cool is you can design the freaking console. You can hit random a couple of times and get something that looks a bit like one of the Xbox like one consoles combined with a PlayStation 4. And there's a hint of like PlayStation 5 in here as well. You could probably make something that looks not entirely dissimilar to an Xbox One, which I think is really, really cool. Like I, this is such a cool thing that you can do. Like you can make it nice and you can make it kind of chunky. You can, you can do all sorts of this. Like you can make it look like an old console. You can even go in and design the controllers i could design the joystick for the console it's kind of nuts that you can do this and i love it but i just i just don't think we're ready yet i just don't and the reason i don't think we're ready is because we've never taken on something big like an operating system before and not only is an operating system a lengthy process, not only is it going to take a while to make a computer operating system, it's going to be really expensive to make an operating system and then create the hardware that it runs on. So let's take things in, in steps. Let's design an operating system and then eventually, in the early 2000s, we'll push out a console. So here's what we're looking at. It's going to be extremely, extremely basic, and it's still going to take approximately three years, but we're looking at Nerd OS. It's going to have file encryption and system recovery. It's going to have unified search, 3D rendering, surround sound, and auto updates. It's going to be running on the distribution server for a little while as well, and it's currently 119. The game suggests 138. I'm actually going to go for 99 in terms of pricing on this thing. Because by the time this comes out, if it takes three years, we're going to be looking at essentially a 1997 release. So this thing is going to be pretty outdated by the term. It, it's pretty outdated by 1993 standards as far as I'm concerned. It's going to be even more outdated by the time it actually releases. But the reason we're going for something basic and the reason we're going to commit to this is because it gives us a framework that will boost the development of a sequel. So, I'm playing the long game here. Obviously, we start this all again if we do a console operating system, but I'm playing the long game for a computer operating system. Now, obviously, we don't have any dependencies. We can auto-balance for a 99% expected interest. And then in terms of who's leading this, I mean... Rosie is good at operating systems, 75% inspiring. That works for me. And then in terms of the teams, I mean, we can simply look on the right here. We need system. We need 2D. We need 3D, audio, and network. So system, 2D, 3D, audio, and network on the design. And then on this part, 2D, audio, 3D, network, and systems. And then we don't have a publisher. So we'll develop it. NerdOS can go into development. We're not going to stress too much about it. And what's good is that Vector 5 is almost ready for development as well. So we're going to prioritize the design on Vector 5, which means the 2D and systems designers will be prioritizing it over Nerd OS. But eventually, we'll get around to being able to have them all focus on the design of the operating system. So that works out. That's good. That's what we want to be doing. We want to be making that operating system and getting it out as soon as possible. We also want to be going in here and having a look at our recent releases. Now, Amplitude's making good money. I want to keep it updated, though. So let's go and throw an update at this thing. It's got some bugs to be fixed. The post-launch team can handle all of that. Bug Blocker 93, exact same thing. We're going to throw... Actually, there's nothing to be done on Bug Blocker 93 right now, so we're not worried too much about it. Uh, Vertex has some bugs. 
let's go ahead and I guess get that thing updated as well. Now, we'll leave the post launch team to do all of that. And I, I want to turn my attention to some of the complaints because we do have a bit of a laundry list of complaints. My my employees are running out of food or sorry, they can't find food. A lot of them are generally unhappy as well from other things, but not being able to find food. Yeah, that would probably annoy me as well. So what I want to do down here is go into build mode and start changing things up a little bit. We're going to select all the furniture in the canteen and we're going to delete it. And then I want to go and sort of just change this layout down here a little bit. So I'm going to go in, I'm going to delete all of this and I'm going to create a little room right about here. And I'm going to create a little corridor right about say there, I guess. Well, I can't actually do that. So what we'll do instead is let's see, can I get away with a little something, something like that? I absolutely can. Can I get away with the same thing on the other side? I absolutely can. Okay. So that works out. I want to get a wall just across here. And I think what we'll do, in fact, what we can do is keep those two bits uh, merged. In fact, if we really wanted to, we can sort of merge all of this. So it's all one big corridor. And then these spaces here are going to be merged as well. These guys are going to be merged. I'm going to select these lights and delete them. I'm going to select all of these printers and I'm going to delete those as well. I don't want to select that light though. So all the printers can go away. Uh, all of these conveyor belts can probably stay. And that gives us a bit of a weird looking space for now. But my, my thinking is essentially we're going to mirror the kitchen on this side. We're going to select all of these rooms and merge them. And that's now going to be the canteen. The kitchen can still live right here. And then this can be bathrooms, I guess. Okay, I actually really like how this has turned out. I think changing the wall texture was a good call. The floor texture was a good call. We got some good lighting in here. And honestly, the blue and the pink ain't too bad together. So let's go ahead and just very, very quickly put together some bathrooms down here. So we're going to go for something a bit like this and we'll just go ahead and cut another two in there. I'm going to delete them though, because I can just build one and then copy and paste it across. So we'll do something like this in terms of style. We'll go for, let's see, let's go for the green and let's change the floor to be some tiles. So we got some green walls and brown floors, which is a great, great look for a bathroom. Uh, in terms of the toilet itself, let's give it green and brown. <laughs> that's that's the color we're committing to here. Uh, the sink can just be white, I suppose. And the shower is going to go, I suppose, right about there. And what I can do for lighting is just throw something like this right up in that wall. And that ain't too bad. In fact, let's go for the warm light and just make this place that little bit more gross because it is it is definitely going in that direction. Uh, I'd also like to put a painting on the wall. And to be completely honest, I'm kind of thinking we put some acoustic foam on the walls as well, just to hide the screams. And then outside of the bathrooms, we have a vending machine, a lamp, and a bench, just because we can. And I guess that's probably good enough for the canteen. Now, what I would like to do is get a few more cooks into this kitchen so we can have a much more regular supply of food. But before we even do that, I really want to drastically increase the amount of things we can print in a single month. And that's going to be helped by the fact that we have the medium product printer and I've yet to use it. So let's go ahead and get some conveyor belts in here. And let's see what exactly we can do here. Cause I want to try and just print a lot of things. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. I'm going to go this way. I'm going to turn that one this way and just, you know, we're going to mirror this as well, but we'll just, We'll see how this goes for now. Uh, that might not actually be what I want to do there. Because I do want to keep this against the wall. In fact, I can absolutely do that. Hold on a second. Turn you that way. And then basically, we go and get a bunch of conveyor belts. And we just run them straight up the wall. Run it down here. We run it down this wall to that spot. Across and down through there. So it's going to sort of circle around and go up the same place as the other side. Then in terms of printers... We grab some printers and they're going to go 
essentially like this. Now, those look like they're facing the wrong way, which is a little bit frustrating. I'd like them to face the other way, but I'm not 100% sure it's going to... I'm not 100% sure the game's going to play ball with me there, so... I guess the printers are facing the wrong way. Regardless, they can still be operated and maintained, so we can kind of have them doing that. And that's going to be what? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 printers on this side. We could get a couple more if we really wanted to. We could go for 16 printers on this side. We could go 17, 18, 19, 20 printers on this side. These are $50,000 each, by the way. These things ain't cheap, but they are useful to have. So while they're not cheap, I'm also, I'm, I'm thinking, I'm thinking big here. And just like that, we have 40 product printers. That's a lot of money. I just spent a ridiculous amount of money, but we now have a way to move all of this product upstairs as well. I decided to place some pallet pickup points because I totally forgot that those were a thing in this game. And now what I want to do is have a look at my distribution because we can now produce 960 boxes. So 960,000 copies of anything per month. Unfortunately, we can only pick up 216 boxes. Now, what that means is I want to have a bit of a look at manage staff and I want to look at my couriers. I also want to get, uh, what was it? Four more cooks. So let's set you guys to 8 a.m. Let's go one, two, three, four and set you guys to 1 p.m. And that way we have cooks all through the day. Now for my couriers, what I'm going to do is I'm going to dismiss all but one of them, essentially. So let's let the game run for a second and we have one courier. So looking in here, one courier can move 54 boxes. So if we divide 960 by 54, that's going to mean that we need about 18 couriers. So we have one right now. Let's pause while we do this. We have one. So we're going to need to click a lot here and get, uh, oh boy. All right, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 couriers, roughly. Now, the way I'm going to split these guys up is, well, actually, I'll tell you what we're going to do. Let's get 20. Let's go for 20 couriers. Two of them are going to come in at 8 a.m., but the rest of them are going to be 7 p.m., because that means that they will actually have parking near the building without my staff taking up those spots. And that should mean that we now have the capacity for 1,080 boxes per month, which is more than we can print. Now, the reason I've wanted to do all of this is because we can go to deals. We can sort by description. We've got some hosting jobs as well, which is actually kind of exciting. But we have these print jobs. These guys want 289,000 copies, 34 cents each by May of 1994. We can do that. That's absolutely no problem. We can go and look at these guys. They want 273,000 by May. Sure, we can do that. We can go and look at this one. They want 280,000 by May. We can do that. We can print more than any of these companies want in a single month. So basically, we can take some pretty hefty print jobs and we can totally manage it. Now, I do want to look at these hosting jobs as well because just looking at it, that seems like another chunk of change that we could probably make. And we have these empty spaces in these corners on the ground floor. So I'm very tempted to go and say that we just grab all of the furniture in this room. We go into build mode. We clone all of the furniture in that room going right down to the ground floor. And we just say, boom, there's another server room. I think we go upstairs. We go to this room and we just grab everything in it. We clone it and we just say, you know, the exact same thing. We've got another, boom, server room. So I I think this could be good for us. Also, can I replace these with anything right now? Oh, no, I cannot. That's probably for the best. Uh, server racks in 2000, but they're a few years off. So I guess what we'll do is just select all of these. We'll select all of you. 
we can connect them together, go into live mode. And if I go to my servers, we now have server 24, which is pretty powerful. And we're going to just call it the hosting server. And that should be fine. And if we really wanted to, and I, I almost do want to just select everything in there and clone it, spin it around a little bit, and we'll just dump it in here as another extension of the hosting server. That doesn't really seem like a bad idea. So grab all of you, grab all of you, connect it together back into live mode. And now the hosting server is very powerful. So if I go into deals and I go to this guy, and I say, you know, hosting server, that's fine. We'll accept your deal. Hosting server, same with these guys. Onto the hosting server, same with these guys. Onto the hosting server. So we've just taken a bunch of deals. We're now hosting things on the hosting server. It's less than 1% load. That seems pretty good to me. And then looking downstairs, the, the printing is, is going ahead. We should have the couriers coming in in the morning. We should have a lot of product sitting around as soon as time skips a little bit. We'll also accept all of these. And yeah, there we do. We absolutely do. So that's kind of what we're looking for. We're going to have a lot of product sitting around. We actually still sort of made money last month, which is great. That's actually really good, despite spending 2.2 million on construction. That's impressive. But uh, what's good is if we actually look into money here... We should start seeing some money come in from deals because as it stands, we are going to be working on printing all of these guys. We have a good number of everything in storage, which I think actually is going to be the that's going to be the limiting factor for this whole thing is how much we can, I guess, store. Right. So we can we can print nearly a thousand copies of anything a month, but we can't necessarily store a thousand units per month. So we might need to reconsider this, or we could just expand the building and put more pallets in there. Which is very tempting. I've got to be honest. It's very, very tempting to do that. In fact, that is exactly what I'm going to do. I'm just going to go and essentially just extend this entire bit by two units. And extend this entire bit by two units. We can uh, merge those rooms and then just put more pallets in there. So if I go and I grab all of these guys, I can duplicate them and dump them there. And they're currently, uh, staff is unable to reach it. Ooh, that's going to make it complicated. Okay, maybe I can't do this. <sighs> that's unfortunate. I was really hoping I could. I was really hoping I could get away with that, but I guess, I guess not. I'll tell you what, let's just undo all of it. It's fine. I'm not stressed about it. We're... We're doing okay. I think I think we'll be okay. I don't think we need to worry too much about it. Oh, good. As my army of couriers is getting here, we have burglars breaking in as well. What are they going for? My servers? Oh, my uh, my printers, rather? That's great. <laughs> I just got those, guys. I just got those. I'd really rather you... Uh, I'd really rather you didn't do that. They got 23... They got... Tw oh, my God. Okay. All right. Let's restore everything, please. Uh, now... I did see that one of my products has run out of stock. Amplitude 2 might be having a bit of a rough time. But regardless, it is a new day. Let me have a look at deals. Deals made $169,000 last month. So that's that's actually not too bad. Also, Vertex is ready to update. So let's get that done. And I guess we just keep printing everything. I guess that's kind of where we're at. I love the fact that I'm just printing things in huge numbers, though. That's kind of cool. Do I have any more printing jobs right now? Doesn't look like it. Okay. Well, that's that's fine. Oh, that's kind of cool. We're actually done with all those printing jobs already. That's, that's kind of great news. We've got another one here, though. By December, they want 840,000 copies. Sure. We can do 960,000 per month, so... We'll absolutely get that done for you. That is no problem at all. I also, yeah, I want to see why people are unhappy. So, Sylvia Crawford, what exactly is wrong with you? You dislike a team member. You feel stuck. Some people just get tired of working at the same place all their life. Giving your employees good benefits can tip the scale in your favor. Oh, yeah, we haven't given them any benefits. 
we haven't we haven't done anything so let's give them like i don't know 20 dollars pension per month uh we'll give them like a company co what color is the building hold on a minute what uh what, what did i go for here this is gonna be the color of the company car um so yeah there you go you can have your like burgundy company car uh let's give them like i don't know if i don't know if i want to do twenty five thousand dollars per employee i don't know how i feel about that we'll go for this we'll give them like a 25 percent christmas bonus they can get i guess a 25 percent severance pay or 100 percent. i guess health insurance can be like i don't know Fifty thousand per hospitalization. Life insurance can be like a hundred thousand per death, and we'll apply that. So that should be that should be fine, right? I mean, yes, that's going to be a lot of money, but in theory, my employees should be a bit happier because we're giving them a friggin' car, right? That that's that's probably how that works. They've got to they've got to be happy about getting a car. I mean, this guy maybe not. He owns a sports car already, but. We'll see how the rest of them handle it. Also, I've got more deals down here. What are we looking at? Print job for Int 2. Six million copies by... Sure. Now that doesn't... <laughs> ah! <laughs> now, are we going to do that one? That's the question. If I bring this down... Now, that looks like we could manage it. But I might need a bit more storage, is what I'm, what I'm thinking here. Now, how would I go about getting a bit more storage in here? I mean, I can't go this way, so I don't know. I, I actually I actually don't really know what we'd do for storage in here. We might have bitten off a little bit more than we can chew, but we'll find out. I also want to see just how many employees might be interested. Oh my god, can you imagine having to carry boxes up this ramp for like six hours in a freezing cold March or February evening? Good lord. I do want to see, is that, oh my god, look at the company cars. <laughs> they look great. Oh my god, <laughs> they look great. I love it. Oh my god, I love it. I love that we have those. <laughs> That's so good. Uh, where's the rest of my employees parking? Do they park anywhere else or do the rest of them just get public transport? I feel like I should buy a parking lot. I feel like we have enough money to buy a parking lot. Let's, let's buy a parking lot. What do we got? Let's go down to the ground floor. Let's look at plots. So this one up here. 774,000 for a giant parking lot. That's not that's not terrible. We could flatten this chunk of land and build a parking lot on it. We could put a parking lot back there as well. But I think I'm kind of just going to buy one, right? I think I'll just buy that. And then they can they can walk a bit, but they can drive their own car if they really want to. And I think at some point, I think this is where I'm probably going to I'm going to buy it as well. I think at some point that's probably where I'm going to build my hardware production space so we'll keep an eye on that area so we have run into a slight problem and that is that amplitude keeps running out of stock because we're well we are printing enough of it it's just that we have so much printing going on that it's sort of getting held up a little bit so what i went ahead and did was i brought in four more couriers who will be coming in at eight in the morning so we have six in the morning and then like 18 in the evening so we can now move 1,296 boxes per day. So we're, we're kind of doing all right there. And uh, yeah, there we go. We're sort of shifting some things now. Looking downstairs, still pretty backed up. Upstairs, still pretty backed up. But in terms of the... Ooh, that's bad. That's bad. That's bad right there. We need to be printing more of, uh, of this. In fact, if I was to go and say, just print me all of that War Camp light in in sort of one go i wonder if we'd be able to get int to to uh to you know be okay that's kind of what i'm looking for because we have a really good number of this in storage in fact eh, i don't know if we're moving enough of it okay looking at numbers here it's november 1994 there's still 61,000 copies of war camp in storage int 2 still needs 1 million printed with 300,000 in storage so we are at least going to be able to move some of these. We are going to be getting a pretty hefty fine and we are going to take a reputation hit for this. But let's see what that's going to look like. Uh, so except all of these, we failed. We had an $85,000 fine. 
and a $1.5 million fine. Now, that's rough, but somehow Amplitude 2 has had a bit of a resurgence in popularity. So let's hit it with an update, I guess, and see what we can do in terms of keeping that popularity up a little bit. Uh, Vector 4 is doing okay as well, so let's bring systems up to date, bring 2D up to date, and that's fine. I was pulling in pretty good money on deals there, but I have just taken a bit of a hit on uh, on deals as well. So let's let's see what we can do. We have some hosting jobs here. None of them are too hefty, so we can, I guess, accept all of those. And we have a printing job by May of 1995. We should be able to do that. So let's, I guess, see what happens. I'm not, I'm not thrilled about it, but we did still manage to make some money. So it's not the end of the world that uh, the printing job didn't really work out for us there. Not super stressed about it. Now, Amplitude, let's push an update out there. And uh, Vector 4 is looking like it's going to be done any second now as well, which it is. So great. Those updates are done. I'll tell you the next thing I want to do. I want to look at my employees and I want to sort by role because I need my team leaders to be better at what they do. Now, if I go and educate me, I have some points here. So I could just start education for me as well. That'd be kind of interesting. But let's just throw some points. I mean, I'm, I'm currently doing audio. So let's... I mean, I'm doing fine right there, to be completely honest. Let's just throw some points into system. Let's throw some points into system, and that's fine. Graham Sykes is the leader of the 2D team. So we're going to educate this guy because I want him to be able to do automation. And I'd like him to be able to socialize and multitask. So now Graham can do everything for that team. Now, what was it? The 2D team? He's pretty good at everything in 2D, so let's start giving him a bit of audio, I guess. Uh, Lee is the leader of the support team. I don't think you have any education at the minute, so that's fine. Katrina is the leader of the network team. So what I'd like to do for you is immediately automation so I can automate everything. I want you to handle hiring. Socializing as well is good. So now I can get the network team automatically pumping out different bits of software. I can do the same with the 2D team as well. And I think, uh, let me have a look at my leadership skills. I can't do it yet with the audio team, but we'll get there. Uh, Mauricio, let's educate you a little bit in automation. And then what team are you on? You're marketing. Okay. So we don't really need you being able to do anything here, but that's all right. Linwood Carroll, you are the 3D team. So I'm going to say automation and we'll give you a bit of support as well. Tanya Peterson, you are the systems team, so I want to give you automation, and I guess we'll give you some support, and what else have we got? You got some art here. Let's give you some, some art right there. Now, let me look at your skills. Eh, not thrilled that you can't do automation right now, but that's okay. And then Marlon Moody is the post-launch team, which I guess is just going to be socialization, and that's fine. Now, a lot of these guys have uh, education opportunities. So I don't I don't really know what to do with them. I mean, if we look at manage teams and I go to, for example, what teams have the best compatibility right now? Uh, so the post launch team, the audio team, if I go to HR management, three of them get educated. That ain't bad. Let's bring that up to like six at a time and see what happens. Uh, let's sort of do the same across the board with all of the teams. Let's just educate as many of them as we possibly can, I suppose. Despite my horrible failure with printing Int 2, they want me to host it. And it's a dollar thirty per megabit per hour, so I'm gonna take that. That seems like a pretty good deal to me. And then looking at my hosting server, it's still doing fine, I guess. So that's nice. The hosting server is is doing okay. It's, uh, yeah, less than 1%, so we're doing okay on that front. I guess we will hopefully see some money come in from deals. I mean, we did still make 174000 there. We've made 60000 today on deals. So hopefully hosting an operating system is going to be good for us. But I'm also thinking, can I 
port yeah int 2 is uh is already quite popular so let's start getting amplitude over there let's start getting uh bug blocker over there let's start getting vertex over there assuming it supports it which it does uh vector 4 let's get it over to that operating system as well absolutely everybody should be working on these port jobs uh, and i think the priority to be completely honest is going to be like so it's going to be amplitude 2 then it's going to be vector 4 then it's going to be bug blocker and vertex kind of tied for priority so that way we can put our top sellers at the moment on the latest operating system which we're hosting which might drive sales of the operating system which will then pay us more money because people are buying the operating system that we're hosting and good lord we just made some money we got a bit more on deals we got a million more on sales which is great news so not bad i have miserable employees i have a pretty miserable building for people to work in but beyond that we're kind of doing okay despite the fact that we keep failing the fire inspection as well which we do keep failing that thing but i just don't care oh this is interesting we have another operating system sloth 2 due out this december they want me to print 5.4 uh, million copies i am gonna take that job because i'm pretty confident i can do it it is a bit less than the last print job but i i'm hopeful we can do it in theory we can do it i hope we can do it that's 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 what i'm going for right now is i hope we can do this i don't want another massive fine and i do want the money for the uh the print job so here's hoping for the best and i mean looking at it right now 274,000 in storage 187,000 in stock we should be fine i think our limiting factor is just our lack of storage for the products which is why i have couriers coming in in the morning and at night but we'll see i'm also really hoping that porting amplitude 2 to this uh this other operating system is going to just massively increase the sales now looking at it we are up to one percent on the hosting server int 2 is now the top process so let's have a look at int 2 and see how it's doing it's up to 666,000 active users which is great and i feel like i'm looking at all these releases and i'm feeling like how did render point just make 40 million dollars why is it everyone else that made a, a 3d editor made so much money should we start making another one i feel like we should i feel like we should make a sequel to vertex and just just do vertex 2 and say you know use an existing framework whatever the most recent one is so we'll use we'll use this we could use well you know what we're gonna use core run tech we're, we're gonna use core run tech we're gonna throw all of this in here we're gonna throw all of this in here uh we'll throw gpu rendering in there it's gonna be approximately uh, but then it has a lot of wasted interest which is the problem like that's a lot of wasted interest which i don't i don't like doing i really don't like doing that but i mean if i take some stuff out we're still we're still gonna have a lot of wasted interest if i take this stuff out it comes down to about a year so i'm gonna take that chance i guess we'll do like 95 dollars it'll be on source control uh in terms of operating systems that can support it i mean we're essentially looking at these guys and i guess we can port it to sloth 2 when it comes out so that's fine 3.7 million potential con uh, consumers a lot of wasted interest that i don't love but whatever and in terms of teams it's 3d and it's systems so 3d systems and then none with 3d and systems and in terms of a leader who is good at a 3d editor courtney sanders you are are pretty good at it and your portfolio is the original vertex which did te technically make money so i'll throw you at it we'll see what happens we'll develop it it's going to take about a year and uh is 3d working 3d design is almost you know what i'm gonna let 3d design and systems design prioritize vertex 2 I don't know if that's a good idea but i would like to see if we can get that out in a reasonable amount of time and do some good things with it and i'd also like to stay on top of these deals now they all want this by december i don't know that i should take that risk because the last time i took a big print job it didn't really go well for me so 
let's just focus on the one that we got. I might have cheated slightly, but I went ahead and called a bunch of couriers and it's looking like this Sloth 2 job is going to be done, which is amazing news. Assuming it actually does get done, which thus far it is looking like it will, please. There we go. Yes, the Sloth 2 job has been done. We should have copies of Amplitude 2 in stock, which we absolutely do. So we're not going to get fined horribly. And looking at it, we are making money because Amplitude 2 is making money again. So good. We we didn't get fined. Uh, that's that's kind of what I'm looking for is a situation where I don't get fined horribly. And we make money. So <sighs> good, good. That's that's what we needed all around right there. Now let's have a little look and see what else people want me to do. Uh, we do have some print jobs. By May of 1996, uh, they want a million. I think we could probably do all of that. It's about five months to do uh, however many copies of whatever people want. And it's it's more money, and I have got the couriers coming in to do it. So we, we should be fine, and that many things getting printed shouldn't really hurt uh, my usual products too much. Now, here's a question, because I've never actually done the math on this. How many products can a pallet hold? 27 boxes. 27 boxes. Now, that is half of what a courier can move. So a single courier can empty two pallets. Oh boy. That is a little rough. We need a lot more pallets is what that tells me. These guys want a million of that. Uh, I'm sure we can do it. Oh, maybe we can. <laughs> maybe I got a little carried away on that one. Uh, let's see. You guys, you guys don't need that much printing going on. Let's let's bring you down a little bit. We'll see how that goes. Hopefully, hopefully we don't get fined again. That'd be that'd be nice. That'd be very nice. I'm also hoping we can hit 60 million dollars here because Amplitude 2 it it's it's doing pretty good now. It's it's still going, and I'm also. I'm also wondering, oh wow, it just dropped off pretty hard. Great, that's that's perfect. Uh, I am also wondering when we should expect Vector to get going. And I mean, looking at it, it is system and it is 2D that's kind of holding it back. And if, if we look at details, it does recommend double the number of programmers than we have. Oh man, okay. Let's start expanding a little bit. Let's, let's get the systems team uh, a bit of a better office is is what I'm thinking here. So let me select the lights. Let me uh, select the sprinkler. Let me do this, and let me. So what? What year? Hold on. What year is it right now? Do we have the better computer? Can I swap you out for the? Okay, so I can't. I could swap you out for the laptop, which is better. What is it? It's better. It's less power. It's better for the environment. It's less noise. It's not as durable. All right. I mean, we might do that. Maybe. I don't know. Well, let's let's select every all the computers in here and swap those out for a laptop just because we can. Uh, and then what I want to do is select the desks and move them to here. I want to select the room dividers as well and move those to uh, right about there. And then I want to select the desks. I want to. Oh, sorry. I just want. Yeah, I want to select the desks and the room dividers. I want to duplicate them and I want to go there and I want to go there and that's going to let me double the number of uh, systems programmers and then for 2D we're essentially going to do the same thing so I'm just going to select all the furniture in this room delete it I'm going to grab all the furniture in this room and clone it we can rotate it and then just sort of slap it right about there and that should be good for that team as well. Now, I do want to make the room a little bit more pleasant to be in. So very, very quickly, let's give them a nice plant right there. Let's give these guys a nice plant right about there. And that's probably all we're going to do. We could give them some rugs, which will boost the environment ever so slightly. I don't know that we need to do that, but we could. Uh, paintings... Eh. Yeah, we can do some paintings, I guess. Let's give them like a computer there. Let's give these guys a computer, I guess, there. I'll give them a cat on the other side of the room as well. The paintings do, yeah, they do boost the environment, so. 
hopefully this will cheer people up a little bit. And uh, then in terms of lighting, what I'm thinking we do is we go for a mix of things. I think we go for one of these guys and another one over here. I think we do the same thing on the other side. So something right there and something right about there. And then we could, if we really wanted to, set up some lighting right next to the door at waist height, which would be a bit weird. So we're not going to do that. I think what we'll do instead is just grab some ceiling lights and sort of dot them down through the middle of the room. And I kind of want to go for a warm tone. I'm slightly tempted to see what a warm tone would be like in here. And I can't say that I love it. I'm going to be honest. I can't, I can't say that I love that. So let's, let's grab the lights, swap them out for a cold tone. Actually, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know. Maybe we do go for like a sort of warm tone on this. Maybe a very, very slight warm tone rather than anything too crazy. And if we grab that, ooh, that was not what we wanted to do. <laughs> that was, that was not what we wanted at all. Uh, let's go for like a, yeah, very, very slight warm tone there. We'll apply it. And then we'll pop over here and we'll do exactly the same thing. So a light there, there 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 and there we grab all of them and we set the lighting to be that right there i don't i don't mind that too much actually i really don't i think that'll be okay so essentially we just need to go to both those teams right so we need to go to systems which is here we need to go to hr management and programmers wait hold on a minute what way have i done this so systems anyone uh oh uh oh <laughs> all right well that's gonna complicate things and then 2d programmers okay 2d programmers we can deal with those uh 2d hr management programmers is gonna go to 12 since we're doubling it and then systems anyone we just add six people so i guess we just go to 15 on this right so we'll do we'll do the extra programmers the designers are doing fine and that'll hopefully help us out a little bit. So both those teams should go to 26 people, if I've done my math right, which I think I have. Uh, and we should see things get a little bit more efficient for both of those teams as well. Or a little bit quicker. I don't know if efficiency is necessarily going to be... Look, efficiency doesn't necessarily come from numbers, but I'm hoping for good things here. That's, that's kind of where I'm at. And there we go. We have some busier offices, which is absolutely fantastic. Hopefully Vector... Will get turned out a little bit quicker as a result of that i'm also a little concerned that some of my print jobs are not actually going to work out for me which would be a little bit disastrous uh we're also seeing low numbers of horse simulator in uh, in stock all of this needs done by may that has me worried that does have me worried although all copies of this are currently in storage all copies of this are currently in storage so we might actually be okay on this. We might we might get these done. Uh, and then in terms of money, we are not making anywhere near as much as I'd like. Amplitude actually is starting to drop off pretty quick. So I think we're getting to a spot where something like Vector... I mean, we need to get Vector done, man. We really need to get Vector done. This thing kind of needs to go out in 97 i would say i think 1997 is about as as good as we're gonna get on this now looking again here i'm kind of really hoping that my distribution picks up a little bit this one here for example not doing too good uh this guy right here could be doing a little bit better if we bring that down slightly if you bring you down you don't need to be printing anything you've got all your copies in storage i think i might need to call some uh some couriers so one two three four five six we'll try we'll try six couriers and see what that does for us yes i have to pay out of pocket for uh for that but my hope is that we we move enough product to kind of make it worth it in the long run it also boosts my reputation if i get these contracts done which it's looking like i'm gonna get sort of all of them done tonight which is lovely they are all done so yeah i i spent a fair chunk of change but that's okay. I I'm not I'm not too stressed about that. I'll tell you what I'm gonna do as well. I'm I'm gonna move Vertex into development. I think we need to. And uh, yeah, let's 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 move Vertex into into active development because then those designers can get back to working in Nerd OS. And it's actually 
coming along pretty quickly, which is great. So what I think we'll do is we're going to aim for a 1997 release on both Vector 5 and Vertex 2. And hopefully that's going to lead to sort of a resurgence in profits for the company. It's not that we're not making any money right now. It's just that we weren't making much and uh, Amplitude's popularity is, is probably falling off. Although to be fair, wasn't there a new operating system? Yeah, Sloth 2. So let's get it on there. Let's get uh, let's get Vector on there as well. And I mean, do we want to do we want to get Vertex on there? I guess it wouldn't hurt. We can sort of try and keep it relevant, right? So we'll do we'll do a bit of that, and we'll get everybody working on it the same way we always do, right? So we'll get the uh, we'll get everybody working on the port jobs to move the most recent softwares onto the latest operating system, and hopefully that works out. I don't know. I feel like today has just been a lot of it's been a lot of busy work. It's been a lot of deals and it's been a lot of porting and it's been a lot of planning and hoping for the best but i think we're getting somewhere right i feel like like nerd os is potentially going to be a big deal vector 5 vertex 2 uh, i i need them both out next year is is kind of that's that's kind of as simple as it gets is they they both need to be out next year i'm also going to take these two hosting jobs because that seems like a great deal uh then we got some print jobs here what do we got here let's see march of 97 we could probably do that december 96 you want a million may of 97 april oh yeah we can take we can take all of these it might hurt my own products but we can we can absolutely take all of that so again we'll take some money from deals we'll get some printing going We'll get, uh, I guess we'll get some marketing going for Vector and Vertex and we'll see what happens. I, I kind of want money. <laughs> I kind of want to start making money again, but we'll have to wait and see what happens because that is going to do us for today. A bit of a longer episode and a bit more of a rambly episode than we've had thus far, but we are getting to that point with Software Inc. And those of you that are a touch unfamiliar with software inc might not be sure what i mean by getting to that point but basically there comes a point in this game where you have to start making bigger decisions and things take a bit longer to get going so i said we were doing hardware in this episode we didn't do that we pivoted towards an operating system i think an operating system is a safer bet are we gonna start hardware next time maybe it's maybe it's it's unlikely because I'm going to try my best to have the next episode include the release of not only Vector and Vertex, but also Nerd OS. It's starting to get a little bit overdue and that might be a bad idea because it might not be very good, but we can't sit on it forever because I don't see it making a tremendous amount of money. Either way, we're going to have to wait and see what happens. For now, all that's left to say is thank you very much for watching. It's been an absolute pleasure as always. And as always, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.